So in contrast to the first portable node box that I showed you, this one I designed to be customizable. Like I said with the other one is I had an idea in mind. I built it for that. I thought it was going to be the do all the, the, the cat's meow as far as the mesh boxes go. However, I found that while it does a lot of that stuff, I have to keep changing it and, and messing with the cords and undoing zip ties and things like that in it in order to do everything that I need depending on what the request is from our served agency. So this is a box that I found on Amazon. Uh, they're, I thought they're around 20, 25 bucks, but sealed, lid, nice and tight on top, gasket inside, and then you got all these nice pass-throughs here that have um, basically like a, I don't know what that would be, but it's kind of like a jelly rubber something. Someone's a lot better at knowing what all those materials are than me. But the thing is, is I have five pass-throughs that I can put any cord through within reason. Now obviously it can't probably take like a 70s hard line through here, but cat fives, power cords, things like that. Versus the other box, which would only accept one power cord and up to four cat fives without having to run things through the lid and then you lose your weatherproofness. So this allows me to take multiple switches, multiple different devices. I could take, uh, you know, I have a, a PoE managed switch in here right now that can power up to five nodes or um, provide LAN capabilities to other devices, Raspberry Pi, things like that. I could bring in multiple power cords if I need be. I could add a second switch to power cameras, and I've done that. So ran two, three, four cameras off of this single power source from this box and then run all the data right back to it and then out over the node. So it can be as simple or as complex, but I can take things right off the shelf and just toss it in this box when the request has come in for whatever that, that uh, agency needs. So a uh, single dish here, have it hooked up to the first port. Um, have this uh, nano beam here. You just run it right in, hook it up to my other port. Now I've already configured this switch uh, with the VLANs to support up to three nodes. And then my last, this TP link here, I can take it, plug it in. And now I've got three nodes that not only are powered, and can talk to other nodes that are on the specific channels, but they're also all communicating together through that switch. Now I take my lid, throw it back on here, and now I'm ready to go and it can sit out in pretty much any weather. And uh, I've got a nice relay node, I could, you know, this going up to my uh, another uh, permanent node, and then I, you know, can have these two nodes sitting there serving uh, to local uses. I mean, it could be anything. Um, one thing that I did recently here, and I'll show you, I'll throw a picture up on the screen of it, is I actually had this exact setup. Now I only used the one node, but all I had to do was pack that one. So it looked pretty much like that. I had this Microtik hap I threw in here and hooked up through the node and then a MiFi such as this. Now what the request was is I had a served agency that had an incident in an area that there was no cell coverage, um, actually poor radio coverage as well. So they were trying to make some phone calls and get into some of their, their applications on their phones, computers in order to resolve this incident. So about a half mile, three quarters of a mile away, I was able to get good coverage on a MiFi from that agency. Stuck, put it in this box. The Microtech HAP actually can access internet via Wi-Fi. So I hooked the HAP up to that. And then the other cool thing the HAP can do is what's called PoE pass through. So I just simply took the power out of one port and put it into the first port 
of the hap. And then about three quarters of a mile away I had another Microtech hap and a 5.8 dish just like this. Hooked them together and now I had an access point with internet connection at that command post for that agency and they were able to get on their phones, make calls through the Wi-Fi, um, do some video chat, things like that without crazy amount of setup. We were able to do it in about half an hour to 45 minutes but I, I'll tell you this for as simple as that was and we didn't have to you know break out a bunch of cameras, throw a TV together, I mean there wasn't a lot but it really showed them the value that we can bring to the table even being amateur radio.